this is the rest of the chicken that we just did the uh, the chicken breast. Again, we're going to season it heavily. And we're going to braise this down to make a casserole. It's actually chicken pot pie. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil, but not much because the chicken fat is going to render down. I'm going to try to render some of the skin down to add a little more fat into the pot so we can put some onions, some carrots, some celery. And then we're going to stew this chicken down. Onions, celery, carrots. Some whole garlic just cut in half for this amount. Probably all I need. Some basil, some fresh thyme. vegetables as much as possible. Release all the sugars. Get that nice dark amber color into it. So when we deglaze with some wine and some chicken stock, all those flavors get released from the bottom of the pan. Just to deglaze. We're going to release all that flavor. I like to dry it up to release the sugars before I put the chicken stock in. Just to cook out that wine a little bit. And let the sugars from the wine marry with the chicken. And then cover with the chicken stock. And that will sit for about an hour and a half. While that's cooking, we're going to make the crust for the uh, pot pie or the casserole. So we start with croissants that we bake fresh daily. And I'm just going to cut that into roughly half inch pieces. And really try, doesn't have to be precise. An egg, two eggs. So I'm going to make a simple custard. So it starts with two eggs and then double the amount of cream.
And then we're going to add some fresh herbs, so it's some thyme, some sage. We're going to mix that up. A little pepper. Salt. lay it out. Try to keep it as rustic as possible so it's not heavy down. That bakes for about 35 minutes. Move that. Once this cook, uh, the uh, chicken cooks through, and like I said, in about an hour and a half, it'll be nice and tender. We'll pull the chicken out. We'll pull the chicken from the bones. And then this is what we'll get. The liquid that still is uh, in the pot, we're going to strain all the vegetables out of it, and we're going to lightly thicken it. And that's called a velouté. And that's a finished velouté right here. So, I'm gonna add a little butter. I like a little oil too. Just a few leeks. Just gonna heat them. They're gonna still continue to cook in the oven as we cook. We're gonna add some celery. Carrots. These just happen to be baby carrots. They're just sliced up a little bit. I'm going to throw a little more thyme in. A bay leaf. Drop a little more butter. Really smell the thyme when you put it in, fresh like that. Then I'm going to take this cold chicken meat, add that. Try not to break up the chicken so much. Just toss it around, then add the blue tape. It's not too thick. If it is too thick, we just add a little bit of chicken stock to it. take out the time.
and add this to the casserole. This is what it looks like when it souffles. And then once it comes back on, all that absorbs from the casserole, the pot pie.